Hey, what's up everybody? This is CLS All-in-One. In today's video, I'll be talking about some issues I've had with an Android car stereo I recently purchased that is designed to work with Cadillac Escalade's years 2007 through 2014 and some Cadillac Seville's years 2007 through 2012. So I purchased this to install in my 2008 Cadillac Escalade EXT and I've had nothing but problems with this stereo since I purchased it. But even with the issues I was having, which I will elaborate more on here in a few, I was able to make this stereo work for a short time period. And I planned on making a full review of this stereo after using it for one month. But this stereo just completely stopped working after only about three weeks, and this is what it does now. So when I start my car, I am greeted with just a white screen and nothing else. If I touch the screen, there's no response, and the screen just continues to stay white until I turn the car off. And I did try to take this apart to see if there was any cables loose to the screen. But unfortunately, I did not see any easy fix for this screen. However, I did purchase a protection plan, so I was able to get my money back after a while, which was around $260. When this stereo did work, it looked amazing with its giant 9.7 IPS screen that fit perfectly in place at my stock stereo. But looks can be deceiving, and now this is just a pile of junk. Now I will go through some of the other issues I was having with this stereo before it stopped working completely. After waiting for this Android stereo head unit to finally arrive after around 50 days of shipping time, the faceplate for it was already broken where it mounts to the stereo, but I was able to fix this by gluing these mounts back in place. But after I mounted the faceplate, I did notice there are some rather unpleasant gaps between the faceplate and the stereo screen, which does not look very nice. This stereo is supposed to be plug and play, and it comes with an interface module for the steering wheel controls and heater controls. So the plug and play is true to some extent, and I was able to plug in the wire harnesses from the new stereo into the stock stereo wire harnesses without cutting wires but a lot of the stereo functions did not work properly, such as the steering wheel controls, heater controls, and the balance and fade on the audio output. It was as if all the sound output to the speakers was on just one channel. So because of all these issues, I decided to just use my own interface adapter, which supports all the functions I was looking for. But in order to use this, I did have to cut the wires to hook this up, which defeats the purpose of having plug and play. So finally, after days of messing around with this junk stereo, I got it working. The screen was nice and bright, and the touch screen was very responsive. But as soon as I made a phone call, I found another issue. It had about one second of lag time with the audio, making any conversation over Bluetooth incredibly hard. Then, after about two weeks of dealing with this stereo, for no reason, the stereo decided to go ahead and erase all my apps and music that I had stored on the internal memory. So because of this, I decided to just use a USB flash drive to store all my apps and music. Then on the third week after I thought I might be in the clear without any further issues, I started my car to just see a white screen making this stereo no longer usable. Now I have had other Android car stereos in the past that have all been on branded and most of these other stereos worked pretty good with little to no issues but this stereo has been a complete nightmare and i'm not saying all these issues are going to happen if you have the same or similar android car stereo as mine maybe i just got really unlucky but i feel you should be warned of these potential issues and if you do decide to get one i would recommend getting some type of protection plan now with all that being said, I did recently purchase another Android car stereo made by Atoto, which so far is working great. But I will wait to review this until a little bit more time passes to make sure no issues arise. Okay, it's now time for me to go. If you like this video, if you could hit that like button and please subscribe. And have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.